Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will understand some useful tips on the Teams mobile. So for example, you want to go to get help, click on the Teams help icon and you'll be able to see all of these videos. You can also access the FAQ and make a use of that. Now, if you want to change the order of these icons appearing at the bottom, simply slide this whole thing up and you can see all of the other icons here. So for instance, if I want the camera icon to appear in my bottom panel, I can click on reorder and here I can probably move, press the calls icon and I want to move my camera icon here on top. So I hold it and I slide it up and I can click on save. So notice that any changes that you make will save first. And now I can see a very good looking camera right in front. So you can reorder the bottom panel as per your wish. You can also go into the, the slider option on the top here, which is this particular point. And you can see your current status. You can set a status message. You can turn on notifications. Now notice in notifications, you have something called quiet hours, which you can turn on if you don't want to be disturbed in a specific time duration. So I say that I don't want to be disturbed between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. You can set your quiet days if you want to. So you can do all of that. You can configure notifications. And you can also look at what's new in Teams. So it brings you to the latest article on what's new in Teams for Android. Now in simple chats, if you want to send out a location or if you want to send out an incorrect message, so for example, I type this message. Now I want to add some more text to this message. Now, instead of retyping the whole message, I can just press on the hi and you can see that I can go ahead and edit this message. I can insert an emoji. And I can do all of that. Now, simple things like how do you reply on messages? So for example, I want to go into this particular message where I have this article. I can click on the message. I can just hold my hand there and I can click on like. If I want to reply to this particular chat thread, I can again press the whole message and I can say reply or I can forward or I can save this message. So if I reply, it shows up as a contextual reply okay, to a particular chat message. Now this is only available on the mobile phone. So that, that's something useful when we talk about chats and we want to reply about something in mm. context of a particular chat. So for instance, if I want to reply to this, I can reply and say, okay. Similarly, if I want to forward this message, I can click on forward and I can send this to anybody I want. So those are some useful tips on the chat. Hope this helps.